From a luxury yacht in China that went up in a ball of flames, and a hotel in Pakistan that couldn't survive several days of intense flooding, to a railroad car implosion that demonstrated the raw power of pressure and much more. Here are seven catastrophic failures caught on camera. Zhongshan is a prefecture-level city of about 4.4 million people in Guangdong Province, China. On September 24th of 2022, some local drivers were heading over a bridge when they captured something horrifying on their dash cam. There was some road work going on up ahead. Crews were building a new overpass to connect one section of the highway to another. Someone must have left a few screws loose. Keep an eye on the bridge in the background. As our driver approaches, the whole thing topples and crashes down. Thankfully, they were far enough away to avoid any damage. We can't say the same for the truck that was passing underneath. Drone footage at the end of the video puts the whole scene in perspective. One of the steel box girders came loose and collapsed onto the road below. You can see where it perfectly splits the truck in half. The truck driver was lucky to escape with his life. You'll see steel box girders in bridge and highway construction. They're the long sections between the support columns. In the summer of 2022, Pakistan experienced some of the most severe flooding in the country's history. The monsoon season was relentless that year. Days of heavy rain affected about 33 million people. Entire farming regions were wiped out, and several buildings lost their foundation. In northwestern Pakistan, locals gathered outside a crumbling multi-story building. The Honeymoon Hotel was built on the banks of the River Savat. When the water rose, it eroded the foundation. Then, the inevitable happened. The front section of the building goes, which pulls the rest down with it. Watch as the glass shatters on the right wing. Then, the whole building collapses into the river. Thankfully, all hotels in the area were evacuated when the water levels rose. Nobody got hurt during the collapse, though we imagine a few vacations were ruined. The Huangpu River is a 70-mile waterway flowing through central Shanghai, China. It's the largest river in the city, stretching over 1,300 feet wide and sinking 30 feet deep in some areas. Many locals use the river to travel around the city. You can even take tours on luxury yachts. On August 7th of 2021, 11 passengers were on board one of those yachts when it suddenly burst into flames. Around 7 p.m., authorities got a call about smoke billowing from the engine room. They rushed to the scene, expecting the worst. Rescue workers hurry to save the passengers. Imagine how panicked they must be. That one guy almost falls over the edge. Nobody has ever wanted to get off a yacht so quickly. Lu Jingjun, an officer on a marine patrol boat, said all they could see was thick black smoke as they approached the yacht. Then they saw everyone with their life jackets, including some children and older people. The fire department arrived shortly after and doused the flames. The boat was lost, but everyone was okay. Everything is under constant pressure from the atmosphere. At sea level, most objects, including you, have enough air to counteract the pressure. That's why things don't randomly implode or explode. 
Your muscles and skin are enough to keep everything together, even when the outside pressure drops, like when you're going high up in the sky. But when you create a vacuum by sucking all the air out of something, even an object as tough as steel will implode like a soda can. That was only 14.7 pounds per square inch, or PSI, applied to the airless tanker. In case you're wondering, that is what your body is under right now from the Earth's atmosphere. This older video has resurfaced, no pun intended, in the wake of the Ocean Gate accident. The water pressure at the site of the Titanic wreck is about 6,000 psi. That's 408 times stronger than Earth's average air pressure. Under that much pressure, the Titan sub simply blinked out of existence. Factories are full of dangerous machines. Even the slightest mistake or miscalculation, and you could be looking at millions of dollars in damages, or worse. On July 6th of 2022, a crane collapse nearly took out this Chinese factory. A worker stands nearby. He has no idea what's about to happen. It looks like a giant paper spool falls, dragging the ceiling crane down. Our worker barely escapes. The collapse nearly takes out the CCTV camera. Aftermath footage shows the factory floor in complete chaos. You might think that an earthquake passed through moments before. On January 14th of 2020, a massive explosion in Zhuhai, China had everyone looking toward the sky. The prefecture-level city in Guangdong province is home to about 1.9 million people. Before the 14th, it was home to the Changlian petrochemical plant. Around 1.40 p.m. local time, a fire broke out in the plant. Workers scrambled for their lives, knowing a massive explosion was imminent. Thankfully, everyone made it out before the chem plant went kaboom. According to reports, 40 fire engines and over 200 firefighters descended on the scene. We'll likely never know what caused the explosion, as investigations like these are tightly sealed. The Emergency Management Bureau claimed the explosion and fire did not cause any changes to the environment. We find that a little hard to believe. Unfortunately, these types of industrial accidents aren't uncommon in China. Safety regulations are pretty loose and poorly enforced. Rockville Center, known locally as RVC, is a small village on the south shore of Long Island, New York. Some notable Rockvillians include Howard Stern, Sandy Koufax, and Vinny Testaverde. But in February of 2022, Emmanuel Thornton was the most popular name in town. It was February 16th of 2022, around 1.11 a.m. Emmanuel was hauling about 10,000 gallons of fuel through Rockville. He swerved to avoid another car, lost control, and rolled the truck. The whole scene looked more like a Michael Bay movie. It's a quiet night in Rockville Center. Keep your eye on the upper right side of the screen. A black car cuts in front of Emmanuel's truck, forcing him to swerve left, then right. Bang! The whole thing goes up in flames. If you look closely, you can see that he takes out a streetlight on the way down. The spark may have been enough to ignite the gas. Luckily, Emmanuel was okay. Police found him at the hospital, and he explained what happened. Back at the crash site, his tanker truck obliterated a vacant Lazy Boy furniture gallery. The truck was a total loss, and the building had to be demolished. It doesn't seem like Emmanuel or the other driver were blamed for the crash. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.